guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your LinkedIn lead gen form with Zapier to a lead sheet so that every time you get a lead submitted on LinkedIn, it automatically pulls the data into this sheet. That way you kind of have a living, breathing um, lead sheet. So the first thing we're gonna do is again, we're gonna pull up our LinkedIn ads account and you're going to go into your assets. So over here on the left, you'll click assets and you'll click lead gen forms. Pretty much the main thing we wanna find out is which of these lead, lead gen forms do you wanna to connect to this sheet? So you just need to know the name. So I'm gonna do newsletter sign up, um, just as an example. And I'm then going to pull up Zapier, which for those of you who aren't familiar with Zapier, it's just like digital glue, it connects two things together. So if I click on Zaps, I can, oh, I guess I didn't need to do that. I can create a Zap and it'll take me to the screen. And the first thing we wanna do, so we're gonna do, we're gonna name it example, LinkedIn lead gen submission, submit. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type in what's the trigger. So the trigger is something has to happen and then we, um, something else happens. So the first thing that happens is the LinkedIn lead gen form is submitted. That's gonna be our trigger. So you just start typing in LinkedIn, it has all these preloaded, like this is a no code solution. What's the trigger event? Well, if you click it, it'll give you a couple options and we say new lead gen form response. It also has a registration response, uh, registration submission. So we're gonna go with new lead gen form response. We're gonna hit continue. Uh, it's going to then ask me uh, what account I wanna do this from. Um, so I am going to do this. Uh, you should just have your own personal account probably there. So yours will be less confusing. Um, let me try to pick one that's actually still connected. All right, whatever. So on another screen, it's asking me to sign in. You're not able to see this, which is probably for the best. So you don't see my password, but a LinkedIn login just popped up and I had to sign in. So now it's attached. I can hit continue. So the point of it attaching is that it can actually see all the ad accounts that are attached to your profile. So I simply, again, this will be simple for for most users because you won't have a million ad accounts you're attached to. So I simply picked my LinkedIn ad account and then I pick what lead gen form. And so all of this is just point and click. Like if you click here, it gives you all the options. If you click lead gen form, it gives you all then the lead gen forms that are attached to that company page. So I'm gonna pick um, newsletter signups. I'm gonna hit continue. Now the next thing is you can hit test and it'll pull in like, I think it'll pull in the last time it fired. Um, so, that looks like a bunch of code mumbo jumbo. Um, oh, this is just the description on my lead gen form. Okay, so it looks like it's finding the data. The next thing we wanna do is, okay, so what, what action do we want to take when a new lead gen form submission of that is detected? So what we actually wanna take is Google Sheet, we just want a new row to populate in our Google Sheet. It's actually pretty simple. So again, Google Sheets is one of the things it can easily connect to. And then you can click here and choose from the actions. So you can select create spreadsheet row and you hit continue. And then from there, it's just gonna ask you more information. So it's going to ask you, um, it's going to ask you what Google account is this sheet under. You'll probably just have your one It'll ask, you know, what drive. You'll probably just have your one drive. So a lot of these won't be too confusing. Then it'll ask what spreadsheet. Um, so it'll pull up like your most recent spreadsheets. So this is the one I just named. So the one I just opened, I named it example spreadsheet. So I'm gonna click on that. From there, now this part can be confusing. It's not magic. Oh, next one is worksheet. That just means the tab. So it's not magic, it'll detect the headers. So here I'll put, um, just so you can see this. It detects what you put in here as headers and it detects your tab name. So if I had another tab, just, I think this part can be confusing because people, people don't realize that it's just actually syncing with the sheet and pulling in that data. 
So let me actually refresh this. Let's, oops, let's go, let's clear. And let's go back just because I think that's important. And I'm gonna pull up my example sheet now. And when I go to worksheet, so now it sees those different tabs. So first I selected the sheet, then I select what tab in the sheet I want the data to pull. So I'm gonna go with sheet one. Now, once it syncs to that tab, it's gonna pull in all of those fields that I put in, all of these uh, headers, and it's going to basically um, pull these in. And then the final thing that we wanna do is we just have to tell it what information from the lead gen form do we wanna drop into these uh, columns that I labeled. And so if I click here, it this is all the information from that lead gen form that's available to pull in. Um, so most of it's like, a lot of it's mumble jumble, like add creative ID, form submitted at, like you actually don't need most of that. So the main things that I'm gonna pull in is I'm gonna, you can search it too. I'm gonna look for name. Um, actually, let's go first. Okay, I lied. Let's let's look at this. Uh, so I have an email. Uh, so some of this isn't gonna be, oops, named properly. So it should have their name and email. Oh, for this one, I actually just might have email. Might be a bad example. Okay, let me let me go back. My bad. Let's um, because for this one, I think I wanted to make it as simple as possible, and I literally just probably wanted their email. Let's see if I do anything different for this one. But this shouldn't change anything. Yeah, I might not be asking for their email. All right, let me check one more thing before I just move on with my life here. Yeah, I'm only asking for the email. So, sorry about that. So all the information that you're asking for in your lead gen form will be available here. So all you wanna do then is pair that up. So actually, I, I'm not gonna be able to pull first name, last name into this. Um, I'd be able to pull email, but if, first name, last name, any of the questions that you ask on your lead gen form, you would simply point and click to the, you would actually just name them here and then you would point and click inside of your Zapier and pair it up with that information from your lead gen form to the matching column and the, the information will automatically, automatically drop there. So I am just pulling an email, so that's the only thing I can actually pull in. So I'm gonna hit continue and then you could test and continue and it should spit out you know, my most recent um, sign up. So all those other fields were just examples. If you do have first name, last name, email, company name, all of those will be fields that show uh, that you could pull into that sheet and then you would simply finish the step, turn it on, and then from now on, once this is running, it would can automatically pull in that data every single time without you um, having to worry about anything. And it would just in real time almost pull that data in as you get new submissions. So this could be like a living, breathing lead, lead sheet for you. And that's it.